What's going on Ruby Squad? It's your boy Ruby Dragonoid here and guys today we have an epic epic bug on unboxing for you. We have Ventus Harperion. Yes, we have a Ventus Harperion in the house guys. Uh, Harperion is a really really like a cool four uh, quad pedal quadruped <laughs> quadruped uh bird creature uh kind of resembles a uh, falcron if it was more or less on f all four legs um from what i'm seeing here um i don't really remember Harperion that well in the anime so i and i also don't remember who had him her i don't know if it was a a, a boy or a girl either i must have missed those episodes or whatever um yeah. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we do have Venusaur Perion here. Take a quick look at the back of the box here. Has a pretty nice wingspan, it looks like, uh, from her toy form. Which is really cool. So you do get the character card, the gate card, and the two Bakugan cores. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get this thing open. Just see how awesome it really is. All right, guys, so here we have Ventus Heart Perion out of the packaging, and yeah, it looks really, really awesome, guys. Definitely, I would say, a, a definitely a, a quadruped of a bird creature. It's really, really cool. Kind of like Nobilius, except more like um, Falcony instead of looking like a chicken. I'm trying to think what Nobilius would really look like. I don't know. Anyway, guys, let's take a quick look at the uh, gate card you get here. Speaking of Nobilius... Uh, so yeah, you get a pretty big boost to Pyrus here. Um, Aquas and Ventus only get 100, Chaos and Darkness get 3, and Aros only gets a measly 2. Um, so yeah, definitely a uh, big Pyrus booster right there. Taking a look at the cores, we do, she, um, she or he, I don't remember if it was a boy or a girl, um, comes with uh, 2 Flaming Fist cores, a negative 5 damage trap core, and plus 250B minus, or plus 3 damage uh, Flaming Fist, which is really nice. It's probably one of the best Flaming Fists out there. I'd say besides these plus six damage, especially if you're playing Mac Mock, um, this is kind of a bummer. I wish it was the plus six or even the plus five would have been nice too. Uh, take a look at Harperion's character card here. Like I said, it comes with two Flaming Fists, B power of 300 and damage rating of six. And on victory with this Bakugan, you can scan. That was really cool there. I really, really like the design of this Bakugan. Really cool. Even the tail looks like it's like has a mouth and everything like that. Like just come up and just vice grip you. Kind of scary in a sense, you know. Then take a look at the Bakugan toy or ball form here. Really awesome wing design there. And as well as there. It's like its head is right there. You roll it right there as the arrow. So you roll it this way. Ventus symbol. And pretty much the same on the other side. Not too much to really talk about with the uh, ball form here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get her rolling and just see how awesome. She really is. You know, I don't think I could have gotten a perfect rollout like I did. <laughs> that was probably one of the most, probably the best rollout I've ever done for a Bakugan that came up perfectly. Like, perfectly looking at the camera and everything, so that was really cool. Um, I believe the reason why I keep wanting to call Harperion uh, um, a she is because of Harpus from the original series, from the, from the original Pokemon Battle Brawlers, all the way back in frickin' 2007, 2008. Um, and Harpus was um, a female, and I keep wanting to call this one because it's Harperion. I don't know. It's just how I am. So I think from now on, I'll just kind of call her, call her, her. Um, even though she's probably a, probably the opposite in the show. I don't remember. If you guys could just tell me down, down in the comments, um, please, because it's kind of bugging me. Um, but anyways, guys, here is Harperion in her Bakugan form. Uh, and she looks really, really awesome. Definitely, definitely looks really, really cool. You see her back legs right there, front legs right there. Um, really awesome design, nonetheless. Um, when I picked her up, I was like, ah, am I going to like this one or not? Um, but seeing her in person, it is amazing. And great detail in the face sculpt. Like, really, really good detail all around. Especially for a core. These Bogon keep getting better and better. I swear they do. I really do swear they do. Really, really awesome. She's got three pegs there for um, Baku gear. Like I said, her back legs there. Even there, she's like a dark... Um, section right there to show off the kind of contrasting in colors there which is really really cool like i said two back legs in the very back for the support and then the two front legs right here really really awesome they didn't show the tail having a little mouth or anything which is kind of disappointing but i wish she would get a uh, ultra form she might um i'm not really sure yet but if she does that'd be really really cool Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me here. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like down below. Also, guys, 
comment down below if Harperion is one of your favorite Bakugan from the new season, and if you have happened to have a chance to pick her up yet, uh, or him. <laughs> I keep going back and forth with that. I am sorry, guys. I do apologize. Um, and also, guys, don't forget, that, forget to hit that beautiful, beautiful Power Spread subscribe button, because it means the world to me, and it means you guys join one of the most epic, epic squads in the entire Bakugan community, the Ruby Squad. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night.